I don't have a lot of regrets because I don't give it a lot of time. I don't give it a lot of thought. I gotta get going. And why should she have regrets? Lynn Austin, born in Plant City, Florida, has traveled the world, acted, and has been a centerfold model. But she is most famous for putting a little wings and beer joint on the map. She is the original Hooters girl. And this is the original Hooters restaurant opened right here in Clearwater, Florida in 1983. But the original owners weren't entirely sure that their wings and sexy waitresses concept would be a huge success. But then they crossed paths with Lynn Austin. She'd entered a bikini contest at the insistence of her mother. She won first prize, caught the eye of the owners, and the rest? It's Hooters history. Ed Drosty, who's one of the original Hooters people, had sent his secretary up to me with a business card and said, we're doing a restaurant and we're looking for that, you know, girl next door to be our, our billboard girl. And, you know, it's really weird now that you look back on it. I was so naive and not really gave a fat rat's ass. I was like, okay, sure, sure, that'll pay the bills. The waitressing gig did more than supplement her income. She had to quit her day job because she was becoming the face of this franchise. The Hooters 6 talked me into quitting my job at GTE, gave up my benefits and everything, took a big leap and start, and said, you've got a waitress. People will love being able to see the actual girl that's on the billboard. And I thought they were nuts because who cares, really? I mean, there's been the copper tone girl up there forever, who cares? But the, I was wrong. They, they did, they loved to come in and see that chick on the billboard and we started having waits, like three hour waits for chicken wings and beer. Lynn caught more than just the attention of restaurant patrons. Billy's catcher, Darren Dalton, became smitten with the bodacious blonde. Baseball players have a very short mating time. They're in spring training one place and they go for six months. Well, they're not going to leave you, leave you hanging for six months. They're going to marry your ass and take you. And that's what they do. <laughs> Along with the perks of big league wife life came plenty of pressures. I had never, you know, never dated or been with an athlete before. I was really unprepared for that world. And it's fun, don't get me wrong, it was fun. The, the paychecks are fun, the traveling's fun, the getting to see and meet people that you normally wouldn't, it's all fun. But behind the fun is the work and is the, the stress. And the, there's, I had no idea that every girl would want your husband. <laughs> I had no idea that moving every six months would be as ridiculously stressful as it was. After a difficult divorce from Darren, Lynn started on a new path as a radio host. They have an opening after Ron and Ron, do you want to try it? Sure. It was Hooters on the Radio was born. So it's been, that was in 94. Lynn gives Tampa Bay area commuters something to smile about on their morning drive with her acerbic wit and passion for baseball. And she wouldn't give up her job even if she won the lottery. If somebody said, here's a million dollars, do what you want to do, I would still stay on my radio show, believe it or not. But um, I would probably try to do some sort of stand-up. Being known throughout her life for her gorgeous looks, Lynn admits it's no fun getting older. It's really hard to age when you are the girl next door. It's hard to age in Playboy years. It's hard to age in Hooter years. It, it's, it, it sucks. I don't like it any more than, than the next girl does. Because um, on the inside, I'm this really still kind of, as you call me, Roxanne, you're all boy. I'm kind of an immature, kind of an asshole -ish type of person. And then on the outside, I'm a mom. And so it, the two don't add up. And like sometimes they'll clash in my brain, and that's when I want to run and get like surgery and Botox and boob lifts and all that kind of stuff. But on the most part, I just, I realize that, um, you know, I got, you got to work with what you got. I am this age, I've done a lot, I've, I've got kids, I love my kids, and I don't know, it just, <laughs> there's no, there's, it's hard when people meet me and they see me and they see me in a certain way, because they really, I think, expect me to be going, hello, how are you? And I'm not, 